what is good my chosen ones hi hi angels what is up it is golden chastity back again on youtube once again back again on youtube i feel really good today like i've been feeling really just positive and i've been feeling good all day today and i'm just really thankful that I am feeling good. I'm feeling positive. I'm just thankful that I got a really good spirit in me right now. Like, it's really extra spirit that's really just positive and really amped up right now. Like, I'm really just, I'm really happy. Like, I'm extra happy today. And the reason why that, I'm gonna, I want to explain to y'all, like, how I'm doing right now and I'm going to tell y'all like how I'm doing so far on my spiritual journey. Y'all already know y'all part of my spiritual journey. And I, I love to just tell y'all and send God's messages and send everything that's from Divine in this channel. So this is going to be another good message though. And I just want to really explain this important message. And I really want y'all to listen real good and just really take this message and really just learn from this message also too. So, yeah. <clears throat> okay. These lost soul people. Man, these negative lost soul people, man, that's just in the dark and that's just sleep. They're mad because they ain't a chosen one. Yes, they are mad because they is not a chosen one and they want to come and just take over you and put you down put you down so bad make you not believe in yourself making you feel like that you ain't good enough and making you just feel like crap you see i'm just like tired of this man because it's like we are special man we are special by God. God gave us a gift. Us chosen ones, like, there's nothing wrong with us. I don't know why a lot of just people really, a lot of negativity people, lost soul people, the, the people that's just trying to just be just evil and trying to be in your life, they're trying to just be your friend and then be in your life and be nosy and then try to stab you in the back at the same time and trying to hurt you like at the same time like pick which one you want to be my friend or do you want to hurt me? you feel me so it's a lot of you know you got to really protect yourself chosen ones you have to really protect yourself for real because you it, it's it's scary to be honest it's scary out here and you have to be really careful very very careful and make sure that you always have god always have god with you keep praying because god is right there with you there's nothing wrong with you you are not crazy i'm telling you you were chosen by god i don't know why everybody likes to get on a chosen one i don't know why a lot of negative people a lot of lost soul people mean hateful nasty people like to be on the chosen one like, I'm sorry, like, if you're not chosen, but that doesn't mean that you get to come in my life and take me in as a put down just like you. Like, I believe everybody, everybody in this world is somebody. They don't have to be chosen. Like, everybody has a purpose. Everybody, like, again, I'm going to say, everybody has a purpose in this life. If God created you. God knew you before that you was created, man, in your mother womb. You are someone, for real. A lot of people, a lot of just people that sleep need to wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Please wake up. It's time to wake up, for real. Like, it's so sad. It's so sad to the ones who just don't know, man. 
But us woke ones, us chosen ones, we know everything. And we're going to always keep ourselves protected for real. You see, I feel good. The reason why I said that, because God, <clears throat> excuse me, God, man, he is so freaking proud of me. God is so proud of me, man. And it just makes me smile. And it makes me just want to tear up because... I feel like I'm about to tear up right now because like God know that I'm putting in that work. God know that this test was hard for me and God want me to do this test. Like I say, I've been saying in my videos about how God want me to just be on this test of me being on my own. God wants me to know that I don't need nobody else no other human being to help me but god only him that's what god want me to understand that i don't need nobody else but only god and i am understanding and i am learning a lot i feel like i have learned all my lessons like i say like i feel like that i just get everything now all these teachings and learnings and lessons that god has been just showing me and guiding me and helping me i'm understanding and i'm doing it and i'm just so freaking proud of myself and i'm i'm really just feel good because god is like god sent me a lot of messages man and in my spirit that i feel like God is so proud of me. Like I am I'm so happy. Like my blessing is guys, my blessing is like really so close about to arrive. Like it's like right around the corner. Like I feel I'm so happy. I believe in God. I love God. I'm I'm thankful. Ooh, so thankful, man. I'm so thankful for everything that what God has been doing to me. Because I'm telling y'all, if I didn't have God, man, I wouldn't know what I would be, to be honest. I wouldn't know. If I didn't have God, I wouldn't know my purpose. I wouldn't know what I'm supposed to be doing. But you see, when I found God and when I got connected and everything just starts to come in place in life, and everything starts to make sense in life. Now I know my purpose. And I know that I'm a chosen one for sure. And God is just proud of me. God is so freaking proud of me. And I'm proud of myself. Because I can't believe that I am doing this work with nobody else is helping me. Like I am so grateful and thankful. Like to be honest like. I just want to cry right now. <laughs> I feel so amped because it's like, man, I just really want this to speak this message out that what I've been feeling in my intuition. Like, I'm doing so good. I work. No evil person can't take away this hard work, this blessing that God finna give me. No evil person, negative Decepticon person is going to put me down. They mad because they ain't chosen. Well, just leave it then. Like, if if they think that way, if they want to be like that, let them be like that. God going to handle it. Go on and do you. You do you because you know who you are. You know that you've been doing your work with God because I know y'all is on the same, like, frequency that what I'm going through, to be honest. Like, man, like, I'm doing so good. Like, my my energy, like, it's so good. I'm so thankful. I'm very thankful. Thank you, God. Thank you so much for just helping me, sticking with me, guiding me, teaching me, sending me lessons. And I'm learning a lot of lessons. Like, I'm so thankful, man. Without God, I would have been just, man. But I'm just so thankful. It gets me emotional because it's like... God is just, like, so amazing. God is very amazing. Like, he is making y'all seem like me. <laughs> These videos that I'm sending on YouTube, everything that what I talk about is all true. And I really appreciate 
y'all understanding. I really appreciate y'all supporting. I mean, supporting me. Thank you. Thank you so much for my heart for real because it's like I really needed y'all to see my spiritual growth, my growth on my spiritual journey. And I feel like you guys are a part of my spiritual journey and it makes me feel good. And God, he is making y'all see me. God is making y'all see me that of my of a real self i am like i am so proud of myself man like i done did so much work i'm taking myself to a different level <laughs> spiritually like very spiritually like i am so freaking proud of myself god is proud of me i'm gonna get my blessing and when i get this blessing i'm gonna be so thankful for real <laughs> I, I I feel so good, y'all. But the negative ones, man, they can, I can't. They ain't go. They're not gonna do nothing, man. They can't. They can't. I got too much because it's like I've been. I stay prayed up all the time. I got too much power in me. God put that power in me. God did that. So whoever mess with me, they messing with God. So. They can't mess with me because I'm well protected by the universe. But I always grab my mace just in case. Because you may never know. Like, some of them might really do something. Like, and try to fight something. And that's why I always have my mace. And when I was, like, I have my mace. Like, I put it, like, on my, um, I put it on my pants, you know, like, let me stand up. I put my mace right here. I put it right here. Right here. Because it has like a little clip thing. You could clip it on like your pants. I have to keep that on me 24-7. I have to. Because where I'm at right now, like where like the position I'm at right now on these streets, like it be a lot of just drug heads, you feel me? And, like, you may never know one might come up to you or anybody. Like, if you walk in the public, you always have to have some kind of protection with you, especially me, because I'm so, um, my vibration, you see, my vibration is, like, really, really super high. So, I'm going to attract a lot of people coming towards me. And even crazy people, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm going to, I attract a lot of people to me. And um, so you may never know. So I have that. And it was uh, one of my coworkers at work. Uh, she said, um, you have mace? Why you? And she started laughing. Like, it was funny because I had mace, like, clipped on my on my um what's it called my my pants <laughs> it took me a while to say that so i'm like what's so funny about that if i have mace just on me right now like i, I there's nothing funny about that but you see a lot of people like that and it was a girl a lot of people like that is like just don't know she don't know on what type of level i am she don't know what type of high dimension i am in right now i have to protect myself and she just gonna laugh say you got mace <laughs> like that like i don't think anything is funny to be honest to be honest like you should always have something on you but i see her all the time though she be just Thinking that she got it all together because she got a car and she she be dressing just so extra cute for work and lashes and make all face beating makeup. You see, them kind of people, they just in La La Land. They just in La La Land, folks. And it's like, it's really sad because you need to wake up to reality. You feel me? 
and know what's really going on. But hey, you know what I mean? Like, let her be her then. But I just didn't really like what she said because I'm like, um, what's wrong with that? Like, <laughs> but anyway, I feel so good. Like, I'm so proud of myself. God is proud of me. My angels is proud of me. I see the angel numbers everywhere I go, man. I see 444, 555. When I was, when I took a lift, I saw... When I took a lift to my house, I saw a license plate. It said 555. I was like, dang, changes. See, I'm about to be, I am about to change. I am about to do a big transformational just me in my life. I am transforming to another next level, a next chapter in my life. Like, I am so freaking proud of myself, man. I'm doing so good, and I'm so thankful. And it's like, I get a lot of compliments, like, from my supervisors, the other supervisors. They say, good job. <laughs> it makes me feel good. Like, they say, good job. Like, very good job. You're doing fantastic. I was like, <laughs> thank you. Like, and... They got me a free pie. <laughs> they got us a free pie at work. I love, like, man, I love my work. Like, they got us a, a free pie because y'all know Thanksgiving is tomorrow. So, um, the pie tastes pretty good and stuff like that. <sighs> but, you know, as chosen ones, like, it's going to be hard. Like, it's still hard. You feel me? Like, People just think that us as a chosen one have our life going like this. See, the ones the ones that's like mad and, you know, because they're not chosen. So they think that, oh, like, let me steal some of your life because you seem like you have it all together. But really, us chosen ones, we be struggling because through what God is trying to, because God give us hard tests, man. And when we go through those storms, sometimes when God give us that big test and we go through our big storm, that must be hard. It be hard and it almost make you want to give up. That It takes work. It takes work to be a chosen one. It really does. It takes big work. Like I'm telling y'all, like it takes big work. I know it I know chosen ones. I know. I know y'all agreeing with me, man, because like the the work that what we doing right now, man, it make you wanna just like give up and fall. Cause how hard it is. But how bad you want it. How bad you want your life to be, man. I want my life to be a good life. And I am working for that. And God is proud of me. God is proud of me. Now, a lot of sleep with lost soul ones, they just look at us like, <gasps> excuse me, <laughs> keep getting hiccups because I just ate. But um, hold on, give me a sec. Now, <clears throat> a lot of a lot of just really negative lost soul people just think us chosen ones life go like this as a straight line that everything is all peaches and cream, happy. No, <laughs> I am sorry. No, honey. Man, when we on this spiritual journey, when you really get fully connected. And God seeing you just test his man, especially his big test, it goes like this. <laughs> like like a bumpy, it's a bumpy road. It's a bumpy road to get like this. You feel me? So I'm trying to get my life like this. But first I gotta get through all this. I know I kind of look weird, but I'm telling y'all the truth. I'm telling y'all my real, my facts. Like, I'm telling y'all facts right now because 
this is what I'm doing. Y'all hear my story. Y'all hear my spiritual journey. I'm telling y'all. Like, remember I told y'all that I was almost homeless. I'm thankful that I got a cousin who she's really connected with God. And God, he wasn't going to make me like that, man. God wasn't going to dog me like that. Like, God knew what he was doing. And that's why I'm sleeping in a prayer room. And that's why I am doing so good. I'm praying. I'm so thankful. I cry a lot of thankfulness, gratitude. I'm going to work. Nobody takes me to work. I get up at 3 a.m., walk to the bus stop, get on the bus, come back. It be nighttime, walking all the way back home, and, you know, the time changed, so it gets dark. So I just leave dark in the morning, and I leave dark in, I leave coming home dark in the night, and it's like, you know what I mean? But this is my grind. This is my beautiful struggle that, that I'm about to get this big blessing. God wanted me to, to see that if I can do it. God wanted me to do it. God know that I can do it. God wanted me to see that I can do it. And you know what? I am doing it. I am doing it. I am putting in that work. Nobody is helping me. See, it be some positive ones too sometimes though. Like, I'm not just going to really talk about all the negative ones. Like, it do be some positive ones that who offer me a ride. Like, like this coworker, like she, um, she offered me a ride from her mom and, um, she took me home and she picked me up and I had, that's good. I slept in a little bit and I woke up at like 5 a.m. I didn't have to wake up at 3 a.m. I woke up at 5 a.m. and her mom, she came to my house, picked me up and she dropped me off to the workplace and I was just so thankful see when you when you be good when you keep your positivity and you stay prayed up and you just being positive you see you get little blessings like that like that was I'm just thankful like that was just a miracle like that was a blessing right there like I'm very thankful because usually a lot of people that that when I'm around is just negative and just disgusting man a nasty just soul a nasty evil cold soul and i feel sorry for the ones that's acting like that because i'm like why is you spending your time on just being grouchy and 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 just raising your voice and just putting all that stress and anger in yourself like you only live once like release some of that Go out in nature and get some of that nature mother love and that just medicine from the universe, from God. God is your medicine. For real. God is my medicine, man. God has healed me. God healed me. And I am just so grateful and thankful, man. But the lost soul people, the lost soul, negative, evil, nasty people, man. They want to be chosen so bad, but they not. God picks certain ones, man. <gasps> I keep getting hiccups. I'm sorry, y'all. God, man. God picked you, that special one. You chosen, man. And I know for sure I'm chosen because God sent me message. I'm so thankful, man, and happy, <laughs> like, for real, like, I love y'all, y'all my supporters, I'm thankful to my fans, thank you for subscribing to my channel, and just thank you for listening to my story, because everything I speak on here is real, everything that I speak on here is my reality, that what I'm going through right now, I don't even have to explain myself, man. But you see, it be a lot of trolls on my YouTube, too. Like, I was made for this. I was made to be a YouTuber. That's why I'm doing it. I was made for this. God said it. God said it. God said that I was made for this, man.
I supposed to be doing this. I supposed to be making YouTube video. I supposed to be a star. I supposed to be a celebrity. Like for real. I'm so happy. I, I got off work early. I came home, ate my pie. It tastes really good. And I was like, I should make a video because I got off work early and I don't have work tomorrow. Only have one day off of work. But yeah, I have one day off of work of the holiday. And then I go back to work on a Friday. But you know what? I don't even care, man. Forget the days off. Shoot, more money, more hustle, to be honest. And I'm not even going to be at that job like forever. God is just like what God is doing to me. God wants me to be independent. God wants me to learn how to be independent that I don't need to just be on another person to take care of me like a a baby basically. God wants me to be independent and be learn how to be I mean learn how to be a woman and um well, he want me to basically grow more and he want me to experience all this stuff and all this stuff that I haven't learned before and I'm learning it and um God wants me to basically know that I don't need nobody else but him that's what he wants me to know and so I know for sure now I believe in God so much like God wants me to know that like I don't need nobody else but him and I really do get that for real. I get it. I get it. Man, God, I get it. And I love God and I'm thankful for God for so much for teaching me this this lesson. It was hard, but I needed it to learn this lesson. I needed to learn my lessons and see. And I did it and I am doing it. And I am so proud of myself. I give me a big pat on my back, man. I, I want to hug myself because what I'm going through was scary. It is. Like, I've never been on this kind of test before. But I'm doing it. And I had faith. You see, I would have been scared. But, like, I am doing the work, though. Like, for real. Like, I, just because I'm scared, like, I'm still doing work, for real. I love, I love the Lord. I love the Lord so much, and I just gratitude so much, man. God has, um, God has really just, man, I came up. I'm elevating, elevating higher. I'm coming up. <clears throat> And I just want y'all to know, my people that's out there that's watching me on YouTube, my chosen ones, the people that subscribe to my channel, my fans, I love y'all. And I want y'all to take this message and I want y'all to learn from this message too, that don't give up. I, there, There is times that you want to give up. I'm telling you, I'm not going to lie, I sugarcoat. There's times that... It feel like that we want to give up, but you see, that's just the devil thinking of, that's just the devil, like sometimes, like when we get fear in ourselves sometimes, God, I mean, when we get fear in ourselves sometimes, the devil likes to, that's when he comes in and, and basically like say stuff in your head, like I can't do it or like you can't, I don't think I'm good enough for that, or I don't think I can do that. You feel me? So we just got to block the negativity out in our heads, and we have to pray harder, okay? So, yeah, this was the video I wanted to, to speak out in my spirit, how that I'm feeling. I'm doing very good, guys. I have a a lot of money that I've been working my man I've been grinding and working my butt off 12 hours working at a job and I'm just really saving and being responsible 
and so I'm doing really good. I'm I'm doing very very good financially in my bank, and um, I'm not gonna keep this job forever. God just wanted me to learn that I can get a job and I can keep a job and stuff like that so god just wanted me to basically like you know learn this too like you know you can do it like you can do it and i believe in myself that i can do it because i remember the position that i was the position that i was in like i had a very unhealthy mindset like it was just negative and it was just basically like unmotivated like everything so god had to take me out of that situation that i've been through i had to leave from that situation so god can open another door for me and god like can show me this lesson that what i'm learning out here <clears throat> See, God needs me to know, and God wants me to learn fast. So, I am learning fast, and I am getting it. Like, it's stuck. <laughs> like, I'm getting it. I'm getting all these downloads, all of these clarities that I need to learn before I get this big blessing. And, um, yeah, so... I'm just pretty proud of myself and I'm just thankful for you guys listening to this message and if you guys like this video please give me a big thumbs up please give me to at least 100 likes or 200 likes and please share and please keep subscribing because please share please i want more people to come in and be a part of the golden chastity family you feel me i want us to feel like a family in this channel i want us i want all love and all support in this channel like my you can feel in my energy that i feel so hyped right now i still feel hyped right now because i'm just so thankful like i am <sighs> so yeah so just keep sharing like i said and please keep having the positivity flowing in my channel and yeah <laughs> all right y'all i'm about to go now i'm about to go shower and i'm about to go just clean up a little bit and then shower and then i'll speak to you guys tomorrow and i love every single one of you guys i really do i read every single one of you guys comments and I reply back to y'all. I love y'all. I, I appreciate all the support and all of the love and the likes and the shares. Like, I love you guys. You guys um, oh, you guys are a part of my spirit, my growth, my spiritual journey on YouTube. So I really appreciate that, guys. Please share this message. Let everybody know. <laughs> All right, keep your heads up, keep praying hard, pray hard, work hard, grind hard, and I love you. God bless and goodbye.